Dear Reddit. Today, I fucked up. Today, I fucked up by drinking an entire bottle of Louisiana hot sauce at a job interview in a failed attempt to be impressive. I have had a number of job interviews recently that went poorly and did not result in securing employment. I started to think I needed to do something during an interview to really stand out, be impressive, unique, and highly memorable. I thought it could be risky, but might work out. I came up with the following idea. After concluding the interview, after the handshakes, etc., when leaving the room stop, turn around and say, there's one more thing you need to know about me. Then pull out a bottle of hot sauce, down the entire bottle, slam it onto the ground and say, I can handle the heat. Not confidently, leave the room. Boom. I imagined that they would be really impressed and wowed by such a performance. Well it didn't pan out like I thought it would. It was only a small bottle of hot sauce, I figured it would be no big deal to actually do. I should have tested at home first, but I didn't. I was nervous as a bitch ass during the interview, but I was determined to follow through with the plan. So I started exactly as described above. I was leaving, I turned around, maybe not with as much swagger as I'd imagined in my head, and I declared, there's one more thing you need to know about me. I pulled out the hot sauce bottle, almost dropped it, and started to open the bottle. In my head it was all one quick confident motion, like an electric Indiana Jones, but instead I fumbled around and had a tough time getting it open. It felt like a nightmarish eternity, but was probably only about 20 seconds. Enough time for one of the interviewers to ask me what I was doing. I didn't answer directly. Instead, after I got the bottle open, I repeated, there's one more thing you need to know about me. But stuttering. Then I guzzled down the entire bottle of hot sauce. I instantly regretted it. My mouth and throat felt like lava was swirling around inside me. I immediately started to gag and loudly cough, I was crying involuntarily. Tears hardcore streaming down my face. I was sweating like a terrible fool. I desperately tried to scream I can handle the heat, but just kept coughing before I could get anything out. The interviewers were all standing up looking at me in horror and confusion. A few seconds before I threw up all over the floor I knew it would happen, but I tried to hold it back. I couldn't. I threw up all over the floor. It hurt as much on the way out as it did on the way in, if not more so. The vomit felt like flaming barbed wire shredding its way through my neck. I should mention a disturbing amount of fiery mucus was also leaking out of my nose uncontrollably. After I finished throwing up I could not bear to look at the interviewers. I hoarsely mumbled an apology and started to stumble as quickly as possible out the door. I have never been more shamed in my life. I didn't get the job. Were you always this stupid, or did you take lessons? No, no lessons. This level of stupidity cannot be taught. I'd give him a six-tenths for creativity although only a two for execution. I might even have to give him a negative for execution, it's hilarious all of the things he didn't do. The most important one, maybe test the hot sauce beforehand? I don't know, it could have went worse. If the hot sauce really irritated his throat making it hard to breath and forcing the interviewers to call an ambulance. That would have been a negative. Maybe next time you can just walk over to the interviewer, bear hug them from behind while leaning back so that their legs are dangling in the air and scream, I will not let you down. Or carve numbers into your chest and yell, you can count on me. Or hack off your own hand and launch it at his face saying, I'll give you a helping hand. Or chop off your own head saying, I'm ahead of the competition. Or slap his face and yell fucking zits, I own you all. And here I am in a train full of people trying to wipe the Niagara Falls off my face. They have no clue. Upvotes for everyone. I had my gallbladder removed on Thursday, and I'm laughing so hard it feels like I'm about to reopen all my stitching. Hurts like hell. Screw you for being so stupid, op. When the hell did a firm handshake and a goodbye turn into downing a bottle of hot sauce? I'm beginning to see why you don't have a job, op. Shows poor decision-making skills. Would not hire. I would hire him. I would too. Somebody's gotta clean that puke up and it won't be one of my people. On behalf of the person who had to interview behind you, thank you. The smell of vomit really helped them concentrate. Your other interviews have gone poorly because you are the kind of person who thinks turning around as you're leaving doing a trick and saying, I can handle the heat, is a good idea. That is some shit straight out of the worst sitcom you can imagine. And no one on planet Earth would ever in a million years hire the guy who does this, even if you pulled it off. Sorry to be a dick, but Jesus Christ. Maybe they would think he's retarded and hire him for the diversity incentive. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. 
People want to hire people who can act normal, not circus clowns. I once heard that the guys who started Sony were courting some investors. They put on a party for them, dressed up like clowns, and gave the guys a great old time. They received compliments on the party. It had been great. They were told. Later, when they visited the investors in their offices, they were politely told that there was no interest in investing with them to get their business started. They commented, but you seemed to like us so much during the party we gave for you. Yes, one of them commented. But we want to invest in businessmen, not clowns. I cannot imagine how you ever thought anything as stupid as this, even if you had been successful, would do anything other than convince those guys that you were a self-important prick who would do anything stupid to make an impression. You, yourself, as a serious person, are much better and more important than any stunt. Grow up. Why do you seem so genuinely mad? Okay mister. I'm a grown-up asshole. According to your story, Op is destined to be one of the world's most successful businessmen. Good on you Op, you will change the world one day. Steve Jobs would be proud. Kevin trying to get a job. Fucking Kevin. There might never be a better time to say. The stupid. It burns. They tastes like, burning. Ralph Wiggum. Geez. I can't imagine why you're struggling to find a job. Looks like you actually can't handle the heat. Please don't breed. You should have dumped out three-fourths of the hot sauce beforehand and filled it with water instead. Or more. Or heck, dump it all out as long as the bottle is stained. Louisiana hot sauce bottles are clear, and you can definitely tell when water has been added. Otherwise, this would be a really good solution lol. Solution. I get it. Maybe add water and food coloring? Or even some other similar red liquid opposed to water. Kool-Aid maybe? Or just don't attempt this at all. Nah, bro, there is definitely a right way to do this. Once we crack the code, we'll be on the path to career success in no time. Required competencies. Professional attitude. Good teamwork skills. Reliability. High hot sauce tolerance. As someone who has had the displeasure of conducting an absurd amount of interviews this past year, I can actually say that's not the worst. Don't feel bad, the interviewer probably knew what you were trying to do. If you need IV tips let me know. Then what's the worst? Guy came into my office and had an obvious intellectual disability. Smelled like he may have shit himself recently. I do his interview, no big deal, tell him I'll call him when I get an opening. The dude doesn't want to leave. Starts freaking out because I didn't hire him on the spot. Demands to speak with my supervisor, I'm amazed at how often people try this during job interviews, ends up running into the back office screaming that guy is mean. And shit like that. Whatever, it's Tuesday. Finally, he leaves. I casually walk into the waiting area where I have about six people and say. Next interview please. Big dude comes in and sits down. First words out of his mouth are in a needlessly hostile voice, do you hire felons? He has a very short interview, obviously. Next person comes in, totally normal, some industry experience, and probably someone I'm going to hire. Halfway through my questions the disabled guy from before storms back and shouting, you're mean. Do you have jobs yet?